A Tesla owner parked their car on a quiet street only to return and find it vandalized. But thanks to Tesla's built-in cameras, the culprit was caught red-handed in a shocking act of EV hate. This is just one of many. What's driving this animosity towards EVs and how can owners protect themselves? Electric car owners have always been a sneaking suspicion that they were being targeted by those who aren't so thrilled about the rise of EVs. But now, thanks to Tesla's sensory mode, a clever camera system that keeps an eye on the car while it's parked, those suspicions are being proven true. But why would anyone go out of their way to harm an electric car? In a video that quickly went viral, a Tesla owner in Australia caught a man red-handed as he vandalized her parked car. The man knew the car had cameras and tried to hide his actions by pretending to use a leaf blower. But the Tesla's camera didn't miss a thing, recording him bending the side mirror, messing up the license plate and even scratching the paint. Unfortunately, this isn't a one-off incident. Similar acts of vandalism have been caught on camera by Tesla owners worldwide, revealing a disturbing trend of hostility towards electric vehicles. These incidents are a stark reminder that the shift to electric cars isn't without its challenges. It seems some people are not ready to embrace this cleaner, more sustainable future. But what is it about the Tesla's sensory mode that makes it such an effective tool in combating EV hate? Tesla's sensory mode acts like a silent guard for your car. It uses the car's external cameras to record anything suspicious that happens around the vehicle when it's parked. This system kicks in automatically when you lock your car, and you can even set it to send you alerts to your phone if it senses something fishy. Sentry mode has been a game changer for Tesla owners, giving them peace of mind and a powerful way to discourage vandalism. There are countless examples of sentry mode videos catching vandals in the act and helping bring them to justice. Take for instance the Tesla owner in California, who caught a group of teenagers keying his car on camera. The footage was so clear that police were able to identify and arrest the culprits. Another Tesla owner in Florida even caught someone slashing his tires, thanks to sensory mode. It's clear that this technology is a powerful deterrent to vandalism and helps ensure those who damage vehicles are held accountable. But sentry mode isn't just about catching bad guys. It's also super handy for things like providing evidence for insurance claims, fighting parking tickets, and even capturing unexpected moments like meteor showers or curious wildlife encounters. This makes it a popular feature among Tesla owners and a big reason why more people are choosing electric vehicles that prioritize safety and security. But what is it that fuels this anti-EV sentiment? The reason behind this hate towards electric vehicles are complex and varied. Some critics argue that EVs aren't as environmentally friendly as they seem, pointing to the environmental impact of battery production, which requires mining raw materials like lithium and cobalt. There are also concerns about whether the power grid can handle the increased demand if everyone switches to electric cars. While these concerns are valid and deserve discussions, studies have consistently showed that over their lifetime, electric vehicles produce far less pollution than gasoline-powered cars, especially when they're charging using renewable energy. Others see EV owners as showing off their eco-consciousness, which can lead to resentment and backlash. Misconception and false information also play a role. Many people still believe that electric cars are less safe or reliable than gasoline cars, despite evidence to the contrary. They are also concerned about the limited range of EVs and the availability of charging stations, which can be blown out of proportion by misinformation and scare tactics online. And for some, it's simple matter of resisting change and seeing new technologies like electric vehicles as a threat to the way things have always been. This resistance can lead to vandalism and other forms of harassment towards EV owners. Vandalism against electric vehicles goes far beyond mere scratches and keying. While these are the most common offences, costing EV owners hundreds or even thousands of dollars in repairs, the aggression can escalate to far more serious acts. Some EV haters have resorted to slashing tyres, smashing windows and in extreme cases even setting vehicles on fire. In addition to these physical attacks, there are also specific ways EV owners are being targeted. One example is icing where regular gas-powered cars purposely park in electric vehicle charging spots, blocking access for those who need to charge. Another tactic is rolling coal, where drivers of diesel trucks modify their vehicle to blow thick black smoke at electric cars. These actions aren't just inconvenient, they're hostile and can even be dangerous. While these incidents may seem isolated, they point to a wider problem of hostility towards electric vehicles. In some countries, like Germany, there have been organized attacks on EV charging stations, causing serious damage and disrupting the charging infrastructure. These events highlight the urgent need for greater awareness and stricter penalties to discourage EV vandalism and ensure the safety of EV owners. But what kind of impact does this have on EV owners beyond the obvious cost of repairs? The consequences of EV vandalism go beyond just the financial burden of repairs. For many EV owners, these incidents cause a lot of emotional distress. 
It's a violating feeling to have your personal property damaged, especially when you feel like you're being targeted for trying to do something good for the environment. If the vandalism is driven by hate or prejudice, the emotional toll can be even worse. EV owners have reported feeling anxious, angry, and even afraid for their safety after these incidents. This takes a toll not only on the individuals, but also on their families and communities, creating a negative atmosphere and potentially discouraging others from choosing electric vehicles. However, Tesla owners are not taking these attacks lying down. Many have turned to online forums and social media groups to share their experiences, offer support to fellow victims, and even crowdsource information to identify perpetrators. The Tesla Cam community, in particular, has become a powerful platform for showcasing the power of Sentry Mode in capturing and exposing acts of EV hate. Stories of Tesla owners using their car footage to bring vandals to justice have become a source of empowerment and inspiration for the EV community. The rise of EV hate and vandalism is a concerning trend that requires immediate attention and a multifaceted approach to address the root cause and mitigate the damage. First and foremost, increased public awareness about electric vehicles and their benefits is crucial. Educational campaigns that debunk myths, address concerns, and highlight the positive impact of EVs on the environment can help to change perceptions and reduce hostility. By providing accurate and accessible information about the environmental benefits, cost savings, and technological advancements of EVs, we can foster a more informed and accepting public disclosure. Furthermore, stronger legal consequences for EV vandalism can act as a deterrent. Lawmakers should consider enacting stricter penalties for those who intentionally damage vehicles, standing a clear message that such behavior will not be tolerated. By holding perpetrators accountable for their actions, we can create a safer environment for EV owners and discourage others from engaging in similar destructive behavior. Additionally, technological solutions can play a significant role in preventing EV vandalism. Automakers should continue to develop and implement advanced security features, such as tamper-proof charging ports, more sophisticated cameras with rider coverage, and real-time alerts for owners. These technological advancements can provide EV owners with greater peace of mind and deter potential vandals. Lastly, community engagement is essential. Fostering dialogue between EV owners and skeptics can create opportunities for understanding and bridge the divide encouraging early adopters to share their positive experiences with EVs can also help to normalize their use and alleviate concerns among potential buyers. By creating a more inclusive and supportive environment for electric vehicle adoption, we can ensure a smoother and faster transition towards a more sustainable future together. The challenges facing the EV revolution are real, but they are not insurmountable. By addressing the underlying issues and working collaboratively, we can create a world where electric vehicles are not just tolerated, but embraced as a key solution to the environmental and social challenges of our time. And that's it for this video. Please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of our future videos. Thanks for watching. See you later.